We've known for quite a bit now that Venom 2 is going to put Eddie Brock up against Cletus Cassidy. And now Tom Hardy has actually shared the first official image. And now Tom Hardy has actually shared the first official image of Woody Harrelson in Andy Serkis' sequel. Let's check it out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we got a little update on Venom 2. But first, make sure you get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away a copy of JLA 1 million. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Well, Venom 2 is headed our way this October, and shooting has recently wrapped up in the UK. We're really hopeful here it won't be too much longer before we get a first look at the film, and maybe even a trailer. Now, we did get a plot leak about this movie about a week or so ago, and we did do a video on that here. If you want to check that video out, there's a link to it up in the upper right-hand corner. I'd go and check it out. Some of the plot details are pretty interesting, and I don't want to rehash them here, but let's just say there's a good reason that Cletus Cassidy and Eddie Brock are at odds with each other. Now, Tom Hardy has actually shared his first look at Cletus Cassidy in the new movie. Check it out. Now, first, let's all celebrate that really goofy wig is gone. That looked horrible in the last movie. As for the picture, I really don't know what to make of it. There's not much there. It just looks like Woody Harrelson in a Hawaiian shirt. But I did zoom in on his neck, and he does seem to have some kind of icon or idol hanging around his neck. I'm not sure if that plays into the movie, but I'm really curious if any of you guys know what that is. Now, no matter how you felt about Venom, the sequence was pretty good at the end of the movie, and really did set the stage for the next film very well. One of the only problems people really seemed to have was Harrelson's appearance in it, but that seems to be remedied now. Curiously, we had heard in that Morbius plot leak that Cletus Cassidy would also have shorter hair and didn't have the wig, so that seems to be confirmed here. Now, Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage, has been in Marvel Comics for a really long time, going way back to 1992, where he made his first full official appearance in Amazing Spider-Man number 361, although to be fair, he did make a slight cameo in 359. Nobody else has ever played the character on the big screen, so it's more than a little exciting to have the one and only Woody Harrelson play Cletus Cassidy. I don't really know what to make of this picture. It doesn't really tell us a lot, but I am glad they are finally starting to release a couple of stills online, and hopefully we get a much better look at Cletus Cassidy really soon. More importantly, hopefully we get a look at him as a symbiote. In any case, as soon as we get more details, we're going to bring them to you right away. But I'm really curious on how you feel about that wig being gone from Cletus Cassidy's character, and what you would really like to see out of Carnage. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.